Hello, welcome to Workforce Wednesday. My name is Emily Petnato. I'm the Workforce Development Specialist at the Greater Scranton Chamber of Commerce and your host of Workforce Wednesday. Joining me today, I have Travis, the Executive Chef of Settlers Hospitality. How are you today? I'm very well, Emily. How are you? Good. Thank you for joining. Um, let's dive in. Tell me a little bit about Settlers Hospitality and all, a little bit about all the locations you own. Okay, uh, Settlers Hospitality is currently owned by uh, a young gentleman named Justin Genslinger. Uh, the properties were developed over 40 years ago by his parents, Grant and Jeannie. Uh, they started with the flagship uh, hotel and restaurant called the Settlers Inn. It's on 4 Main Avenue, Holly, Pennsylvania. Uh, from there, the company has branched out. They purchased a place that became the Ledges Hotel, which also houses Glass Restaurant, which is a tapas style themed restaurant. Uh, newly renovated. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we also have purchased what used to be the old Earhart's on the lake at Lake Wall and Paul Pack. It's been converted into a resort called Silver Birches and the restaurant is called The Dock. It's a family casual restaurant that emphasizes on seafood. We also have a place called the Anthracite Hotel in Carbondale. And uh, inside of the Anthracite, we have a restaurant called Cole Steakhouse. And we also have a place called Gravity Hall, which is where we house weddings. Uh, aside from that, we also have a full-scale bakery to benefit our wedding businesses. And we produce pastries for a coffee shop called The Cocoon, which is located on 8 Silk Mill Drive in Holly, Pennsylvania, right across from a place that's commonly referred to as The Castle. It's the old Belmont building. Uh, you can't miss it on Route 6. It looks like a giant castle. So uh, I think that, oh, we also have Sayre Mansion in Bethlehem too, which is also uh, an awesome spot to have weddings and a uh, beautiful little hotel. Nice. Hey, so a little bit of everything, a little bit of everywhere too. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about your role as executive chef. Um, so I'm what people in the company would call the corporate executive chef. Uh, I have a handle in all the businesses. I help all of my chefs write menus. I advise them in recipes. Uh, I do work a lot with the financial costings. Um, I work with them on HR issues and we work through generally, I generally manage with them on all aspects of the business. Um, so I get bounced around between the restaurants and the wedding venues and the coffee shops. And uh, I get to see, oversee all production and help make decisions to steer the businesses in the right directions. And what are some of the positions you're hiring for currently? Oh, so we have uh, executive level chef positions open for the restaurants. Uh, we have a multitude of line cooking positions open. We have dishwashing positions open. Uh, the resorts and restaurants, have, or I'm sorry, the resorts have some positions open for housekeeping. Uh, and I believe I believe as of right now, that's a, that's about it. And there, are they at um, all your different locations too? Correct, correct. And I actually, for, I forgot about front of house. Uh, we are hiring for members like waiters, waitresses, bussers, and bartenders. Uh, and I believe we're hiring for that at both the Settlers Inn Glass at Ledges Hotel and the dock at Silver Birches. Sorry about that. It's okay. Um, and what is your minimum wage pay? So after the pandemic hit and uh, people had been laid off and decided to come back to the workforce, uh, my bosses have realized that the cost of living has changed dramatically in the area. And in order for people to live a happy and healthy life, the wages had need to be changed. So we increased our minimum wage to $15 an hour, which we feel matches what would be an equitable living wage. And I really believe it's benefited a lot of our employees that work for the company. That's awesome, $15. I haven't heard that from anywhere. And yeah, it's uh, definitely a very progressive thing to do. So you're hiring for both front of house and back of the house. What are some of the qualifications for front of house or something you would like to let job seekers know what it's like working front of house in a restaurant? Uh, so the front of house is a very fast paced environment. 
Um, and in order for you to work front of house, there's a couple of things you need to be really skilled at. I, I really believe that multitasking is a very important thing as well as problem resolution and you have to have people skills. Uh, some of the certifications we could look for is stuff like SERPSAFE certified, RAMP certified, um, and any prior management experience also helps too. Um, I think if you're gonna work in this environment, you have to be very friendly. Right, it's definitely fast paced and you have to keep up with the, all the customers walking in and out constantly. And being at Lake Wall and Paul Pack, would you say you're busier in the summertime? Uh, I would say for the Silver Birches and, and the dock, most definitely. Uh, I think all the businesses feel the increased volume of people coming from the cities for the summer, especially when New York and New Jersey schools are out. Uh, so there's no doubt about that. There is a height season uh, that's located around summer. Uh, we also have a little bit of a seasonality variance or, or variable when it comes to our weddings, because a lot of weddings take place in the fall. And then when the ski mountains are open, the restaurants that are closer to the ski mountains get busy in the winter. And are you looking for anyone um, to work for catering, like weddings? We are. We're, uh, we're constantly hiring uh, both BOH, back of house, FOH, front of house. Um, a young lady named Tiffany Rogers is my director of banquets, director of, uh, of uh, catering. And she does a phenomenal job managing her staff, and she's always looking for friendly and able-bodied people to come work. So is there anything else you would like to mention about your positions, about your company that would make you stand out as an employer? Uh, yeah, I, I believe that the company gives out great benefits to people. Um, I think that the management of this company is very progressive in the way that we manage. Um, the old style of like totalitarian management is not something we take part of. Uh, we work with our employees every day to make sure that our businesses and our employees are successful and what we're trying to achieve. And uh, I believe that putting our employees first and realizing that they're the heart of the business has been the greatest success for all of us with this company. Definitely. And just want to mention again, they pay 15 an hour. <laughs> yes, that is correct. <laughs> That is the minimum. That is the minimum hourly rate for people who come into the company that uh, are outside of the high school employee realm. That's awesome. Yeah. So, if I was an interested job seeker, how can I apply? Um, so there is a multitude of ways to apply with a company. Um, if you seek out any of the restaurant websites or the hotel rest, uh, resort websites, there's places where you could fill out applications on there. Uh, we generally open up during certain periods of time of the year with ads on Indeed, uh, Monster, places like that. Um, the old fashioned way is to walk in the door and ask for an application and talk with the front desk staff, uh, which are very friendly and fill it out and ask them to get it to the right manager. So don't be afraid to walk in and apply, right? Not at all. Good. So thank you again for joining me today. I'm so sorry I started coughing in the middle of it. I truly apologize to you and my viewers. Um, Settlers Hospitality is a great place to work for, um, so thank you, and, and you have so many different locations, so I hope this is reaching our viewers all over that would be interested, and beautiful locations, in fact, too. So thank you again for joining today. If you are an interested job seeker um, looking to apply for these positions, please visit their website or just stop in and say hello. Introduce yourself. Um, if you are a business owner interested in registering for an upcoming Workforce Wednesday, please reach out to me at epetnato at scrantonchamber.com to learn more or schedule a session. Um, to view past sessions or view available job postings on our job board, please visit scrantonchamber.com. And thank you again for joining me. We'll see you all again soon. It was a pleasure, Emily. Thank you. Thank you. I am so, so sorry.